Hello everyone and welcome back to the biggest fall challenge. This is the United Kingdom veteran playthrough. We have most of Africa, we have most of Europe, let's be honest, we have Europe. Oh, we have you guys at war as well. Well, in that case... Let's quickly march in there because we own the place. I, I meant to say like we own the place, but they don't have any troops. So it's not like they're going to mind. And we're going to have some troops uh, going to China. And we're going to invade the Japanese home islands again. We're going to be doing the same plan, except we have more troops this time. Unfortunately, the US is like, yeah, no, all these bases, we'll use them. That's fine. They've got all the planes that they want. Very annoying, we'll have to de deploy bombers from all the way over in Manila. We're already moving some to Hong Kong as well. That will help. I've had to narrow them down because everyone is using my air bases, which is a little bit annoying. But I plan on using them myself. Like, almost every airfield here is totally filled up already. It's a little annoying. Get some jet fighters in Hunan. Yeah, they're already overstepping their boundaries there. It's just annoying if you ask me. But, I mean, everything's going fine, so there's no reason to complain anywhere, really. Soviet Union occupies this, but... It's fine, we'll take that in a minute. I mean, we don't really have to, but we can. We might as well. We'll set you guys up with a naval invasion order of... There. I shouldn't need too much time to prepare, because it's only a minor di minor thing. Alan Cunningham, you are obviously well fitted for this mission. Unfortunately... <laughs> Our rockets don't quite have unlimited range. That's a bit of a shame. Also, invasion of Red Finland is about to kick off. Because of course it is. Go and go and go. Oh yeah, we're also invading Greece with uh, Mali. Because we can. And now we squish everything in our way, basically. Modern self propelled artillery. We are up to 240 now, but yeah. We produced them too late. That's fine. No harm done. Let's go to the theater where things are actually going to happen. Thankfully, they're already prepping their invasion, despite not being at the start-off point yet. We should have total naval superiority here because of the uh, American fleet to there. That will be nice. We'll just invade here, we'll roll all over it. And take it like we do. We're pretty good at all that. There we go, Canada's getting some credit in as well. Boats are on their way. I think that means we're running out of supply in Red Finland. But it's not like they have any troops, so... Yeah, we're just eating West Finland slowly. I say slowly. It's gone quite quickly. I'm not sure if they even have troops, to be honest. Boats are still en route. It's gonna take them a while, but oh well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have no troops. Well, that's easy. Oh, there's one division up there. Wow. Don't let me surprised. Norway, no faction. Can we justify? No, of course we can't. 
Well, at least they're easy to take. Like, wow. It's literally just a steamroll. Yay, we now control some of that land. Excellent. Horses, go please. You can just surround them like that. Just kill them all. Not like they're a threat, right? Right. Ask for control of Thessaly. We can't ask for control of Thessaly yet. Yay, we did it. Now we have it. Greece capitulated. It all belongs to us. I mean, that's no real surprise, to be honest. Our participation is up to 60%, roughly. Bombers should be arriving in Hong Kong as we speak. Just set that limit high. We don't actually have the reach. That is very annoying. But we're still bombing them regardless. Doesn't look like we have any resistance over here, so that'll be lovely. You just take everything, that'd be nice. There we go, just do that. That'll be fun. For a while. This naval invasion is nearly done. Red Finland has capitulated. Pretty good. Yugoslavia is strong. They're also still accepting our requests for more land, which is nice. Turkey, however, is a jerk. Can we... Iraqi People's Republic is a thing, apparently. Huh. Can't say I really care. I'm beyond caring at this point. I should go swimmingly. This all belongs to Canada now. Excellent. Can I set you up to invade there? That'd be amazing. You just go when you're ready. There we go. We're taking land over there. Literally about to go ahead and do all that. Just need our people to be at the actual position. Which is fine. Set up those four troops for an invasion. And fire one ready. There's still actually something going on in here, they haven't quite fully surrendered. Which is fine, we'll send our troops around, get in from our own territory. And then we'll take it, because we're nice like that. Romania People's Republic, excellent, they've capitulated. Mostly to us, which is nice. You can stop the push so that these guys will take it instead. Radius Raj, what the hell are you doing here? Border Gore, basically. 
Well, that's great. Thanks for that, you know. Research available. Apparently we finished something. Okay. That's all good. Nothing to worry about. Naval invasion is underway. Excellent. Just nibbling more territory here. Cooperative of Belgium capitulated. Thanks for your cooperation. Wait, we've got regular Spain here, then we've got nationalist Spain as well. The Republic of Spain, I don't know anymore. <laughs> it's all a big mess at this point. We're still at war with you, aren't we? Yeah. Fireman ready. Assigned token general, William Slim. There we go. Doing all the things. We have free civilian factories. Oh dear lord. We're gonna drop some more bombs on this place. <laughs> I mean, we need to obviously secure the... Uh, the 14 colonies. We've been sitting around doing nothing the entire game. They don't deserve sovereignty at this point. Oh, excellent, we have made landfall. Yo. Go. That means you guys. Damn it. Lebanese Socialist Republic, excellent. They're all capitulating. Uh, yeah, we're we're invading Madagascar. Never thought I'd say that out loud. I actually need control of the sea there. That's annoying. At the very least, we have this island. Our island being retaken. You definitely need to run to the capital. Do they even have troops? 30. Huh. Now where the bleeding hell are they? I'm going to tell you to do, because you know what to do. There we go. The Occupy Everything movement. Time they should fall without a fight, otherwise we'll just drop another bomb. They already have like no percent, na no national unit. The game just crashed. Okay, we're back. We just need to do a little occupation again, like most of the orders have already been given, etc. It's just annoying. It's been happening a few times. Like I've had it happen on stream. I've had it happen just because. It's annoying. But I fully trust Paradox that, you know, it'll be fixed eventually. And it's not like it's taken away a lot from the experience. It's why I have auto save on so frequently anyway. There we go, we're about to eat their home islands once again. With no resistance, because we are heartless bastards. I mean, to the victor go to spoils, right? So this time, they're not even putting up a fight. 
I don't mind though. Gives me time to eat stuff. And it's nice. They should start caving extremely quickly. Oh, we found troops. They're gonna get slaughtered right away, but we found them. We know they're there. It's not the ghost division. Yeah, no, you're not gonna win this. Give up. It's just like the last time. By all means, do move towards our other troops that are moving towards you. That is totally a reasonable idea for you to do. Silly chaps. We already have your home islands. There we go. The war is suddenly looking a lot more favorable in our way. I wonder why. Protect Suez, please. It's very valuable. And so, uh, here uh, we slowly go. Just doing the VP run. You know how it goes. overrun the troops, because it's funny. Oh, we might even win when we win when we take over Shizuoka. Oh, hell! We own Japan! Again! Is there anyone left in this world? The People's Democratic Republic of Ethiopia! An Iraqi People's State. Mongolia, People's Republic of China. They'll surrender. Yeah, that was easy. Oh, hi. We get to make demands now. 7,000 war score. That's a lot. Oh, you. You. You, you, we're gonna make Europe great again. There we go, we're gonna take all of Red Finland. We're gonna try not to eat too much of Moscow just yet. I'm gonna make sure that we get some of the oil here. We'll annex all of this. There we go, where's Moscow? It's right there, I want it. I want your capital, I want all their capitals, just to make sure. Lania, Bulgaria, etc. Beirut, Damascus. Oil, 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 oil. We have room for more demands. I'm pretty sure they won't like to touch anything in here, so that'll be free for the taking. Just want to make sure that we get a big font on the map. Font's what it's all about. And these are mostly low cost anyway, so it doesn't take all that much war score. They're also pretty large provinces, which is nice. If they want that first, that's fine. Will I take Japan? No, on second thought. I'm fine with Japan still existing. I just want a big font. <laughs> yeah, 
There we go. We're gonna raise world tension a bit, but who cares, right? Nobody else gets to make demands but us. And, and turn. They'll probably touch a lot of this, I'm afraid. Yeah, they've already messed it up over here. Excellent, thank you. I totally didn't want to have nice borders. They've changed government, etc. Mexican opposition helps Soviet Union see the true path of democracy. I knew it. They, there's just one province in there now. It's just like, yeah, we're democratic now. Tonkin. They've taken Tonkin from French Commune. Democratic Greece, Mongolia. We'll pass for a bunch of score. Now we should be able to take all of this from the United Provinces. Take that. We can take this from the Chinese. We can still mostly take Japan, apparently. People's United Provinces to see. The borders are ruined. Utterly ruined. Also, they took. Northern Transylvania, the bastards. I wanted it all. I'm totally not greedy or anything, but there's just no room for sharing in the uh, the British Empire. Funnily enough, if you go commun uh, if you go fascist Britain, you actually get the British Empire back, which is pretty cool. We not just take everything at this point. I'm pretty sure no one else has score left. The Hoku, okay. Yeah, I think it's just us now. Good. We own a shit ton of land. We've made Great Britain even greater. That's for sure. Uh, and turn. Is there anything left to take? Apparently so. Oh yeah, Madagascar. Done. Another 441% unrest. We took 225 states. China took four. A lot was annexed. Well... I think this is pretty much it. We have a tiny bit of France over here, apparently. Wait, how much did they like us? Two th uh, 2100. Wow. Minus 1800. God damn it. I don't think there's anyone left to declare on at this point. Wow. I think it's all over now. We have a lot of manpower back. Uh, just, wow. I really don't think there's anyone left to declare on. Is there really not? I mean, I guess we've already established a British world order, but... I don't know, I was hoping for a bit more, maybe.
Yeah, we can't just fight against anyone else. That's a shame. Hungry! Nope. Russian Federation is just like an island. I think this is... Uh, that this is it, everyone. We have pretty much... Annexed the world, as far as we can. We got pretty far as Britain, I'm not gonna lie. We have the Indies, we have British Raj still under us, we have... The biggest font. Which is quite important. I hope you'll agree. We have a ton of nukes. Unfortunately, we can't historically declare war in the United States, but if we were able to, we'd probably win. I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this veteran run. I certainly have. I will be continuing more series, like I've got Soviet Union lined up next on regular difficulty. Because I've already proven that we can do the hard things, now let's have some fun. You know, we're going to be fighting as Soviet Union, we're going to be uh, fighting back against the fascist invaders. On stream, I'm still playing as the German Reich, and we will be continuing a... Ap well, basically, after we finish that run against the United States, or the Free American Empire, because we've turned them fascist, but we forgot to coup. We will be doing an Italy run, on stream. We'll make Italy great again. And then, I don't know. There's still, like, a ton more things that I want to do. And I'm going to be playing a lot more of this game in the future. So don't worry about any of that. There's going to be plenty more Hearts of Iron 4 on this channel. So, I hope you all enjoyed the series. I certainly did. If you want to show me that you liked it, then do please leave a like down below. It really does help out the channel a lot. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to say. And until next time, have a good one, folks.